In the spring, annual ryegrass should be killed before it reaches the joint stage, which varies somewhat depending on the date of planting, the amount of fall growth, and the kind of weather you experience over winter and early spring. Completely killing the annual ryegrass before planting your corn or soybean crop is essential. An effective burn down might include more than one application of herbicide. One of the most critical stages of successfully uh, using a ryegrass cover crop uh, is killing it. And uh, you know, there's kind of an art to uh, looking at the calendar and looking at the uh, stage of growth of the ryegrass and the weather forecast and deciding when is the day. Staying on top of it and, and you know, spraying the burn down today, be planning, scouting uh, to make sure that uh, you've got a good kill, uh, that's all part of the management. You really want this stuff to die, you don't want it to go to head, and uh, so we try to really focus on making sure we get it right the first time. Growers will need to recheck their fields to ensure the annual ryegrass is completely killed. In situations where the initial burn down is sprayed in early spring and weather is cool, there may be a need for a second herbicide application to completely kill the annual ryegrass. You can't just spray it and assume that it's going to be, be killed. Uh, certain products uh, like Roundup, uh, temperature sensitive, uh, if it's cool, cool and cloudy, uh, you know, it may not yet 100% kill. Uh, also, if it's, we're using uh, Princep for residual control, it's worked pretty well as long as we've got moisture to activate it. Make sure that you, you work very closely with your uh, fertilizer dealer, your chemical dealer, make sure we've got a, a, a program that is going to um, complement the annual ryegrass system. It's just one more thing you have to manage. It's not rocket science, but uh, you add one more uh, set of uh, parameters that you have to manage for, and uh, you know it's, it's not hard. It just demands attention and timeliness. While there's no doubt this is a cover crop that takes some extra management, the results make it worth the effort. Growers using annual ryegrass as a cover crop believe it pays off with improved soils, more effective use of nitrogen, deeper root systems, and most important of all, increased yields for corn and soybeans, especially if summer weather turns dry. For the most part, what we're looking at is improved soil structure to increase crop growth and rooting, uh, and eventually to, to increase yields, or at least stab stabilize yields and, and stop the up and down yield variance due to weather. To establish those roots four to five feet deep, it's going to just create an aerobic soil condition. I mean, that's what we're after, you know, is, is better soil health so we produce a bigger crop. In the end result, this gives us a lot better soil structure, soil health, air and water movement, and ultimately what the farmers are interested in is yield advantage. When we can get these kind of improvements to the soil quality, then, then that equates to economics and, and, and an increased yield potential for that soil. What's it worth to pick up 80 or 100 bushels in a drought year? You know, that's uh, hard to put a dollar figure on. I mean, we can, and it's significant. It, it, that's, that's what we're after. We think that uh, year in, year out, uh, once we get it established, that we'll more than see the paid back from the seed. Growers interested in learning more about the benefits of using annual ryegrass should contact the Oregon Ryegrass Seed Growers Commission or visit the website ryegrasscovercrop.com.